Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here on that brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Taking to go out today, see what things come out today, see what things are on sale. I know one of the big releases today, you know, was Dunkirk, and I believe there's a few retail exclusive editions of that one that came out, so definitely going to go and check out those ones. And I know Leatherface released today. Uh, also, I'll let you guys know, the last few days I was away in Vegas, and I filmed a movie hunting video looking for DVDs, Blu-rays, and you know, all the kind of stuff that I did while I was in Vegas. So that video is going to probably be going up either like Thursday or Saturday, so definitely be and look out for that. You know, I just finished editing that. You know, actually just got back last night. But you know, today just going to go to the main stuff and you know, main stores and stuff and see what kind of stuff released today. Also, at the end of this video, gonna have some really cool stuff to show you guys that I got sent to show you guys. Uh, really cool, like trunk set of all the Puppet Master films, and then like um, some TV series and a bunch of you know new DVDs and Blu-rays. So definitely stay tuned for those at the end of this video. But anyway, though, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. And I believe today, as well as Dunkirk, they're releasing like a whole bunch of, uh, you know, the Christopher Nolan movies on 4K. So I'll definitely be looking to, to see, you know, where those ones are all sold today. Because I know there's like a set and then a bunch of like individual releases of those ones as well. And I just remembered, uh, one of the other things that released today was the Lego Ninja movie. So that one released as well today. So definitely, I believe there's a couple different, you know, editions of that one as well today. But, you know, some of the main things I have to look, I saw on the front though, I'll have to show the Dunkirk. They don't seem to be put out right here. They only have the DVDs put out for that one. But the other ones that released today was this Victoria and Abdul, which is one, I really like this one a lot. This one I thought was actually a really well done thing about the Queen when this guy comes over from India uh, to present her with this ring and they kind of become friends and stuff, but I really like that one. And then, like I said, uh, Leatherface released today, and this is like the prequel film to, you know, the, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre with like a young Leatherface when he's in the insane asylum. I, I know this got really, really some negative reviews and stuff, but I honestly kind of like this movie just because it was so different. It sort of feels like, it doesn't totally have a Texas Chainsaw Massacre fear though. It sort of feels like something else. But for what it was, I did kind of get into it. And the other one today, and I'm going to have a review of this one at the end of this video, is the Darren Aronofsky film Mother. It's another one that got some mixed reviews, but it was one of those movies after I watched it, I, when I thought about it more, I really did kind of like what this was. But like I said, I'm going to be talking about this one in detail at the end of this video. And like I said, though, the Lego, now the proper name for this is not the Lego Ninja movie, it's the Lego, Lego Ninjago movie, I think that's how you say that. And at Target they have an exclusive edition, only a Target that has like a set of six trading cards in here. You guys can see the ones on the back, so, I, you know, so all six of these trading cards are included in this one. And that's $24.99 for that exclusive one, so it looks like it's a little more for, than the regular edition one. And I don't see, and also it's lenticular, so it changes like this, but I don't see any um, 4Ks here for that one. But over here in the front, here's the standard edition of um, you know, the Lego movie here. This is the standard cover on this one. Like I said, that one is um, $22.99 for that one. And it doesn't look like they have any exclusive editions here of Dunkirk, as far as I can tell. And I, I believe when I was over there, I think Stronger had released today as well. And I think that was this week, I, I believe. Into Walmart we go. In Walmart they have these things. I don't know what these things are. They're like some kind of things that like light up these light up balls. I don't, I don't know. It must be some kind of a new thing that they want to have be like a trend, like a fidget spinner. But I guess you put it in your hands and I don't know. It's kind of weird. Thumb chucks. It's like, yeah, I guess it's trying to be like a new fidget spinner kind of thing. I don't know if these things are going to catch on or not. They're interesting. Like this one goes like into... I guess you put it into that thing, like a game or something? It's interesting. But in here, the movie section though, their uh, 4K copy of Dunkirk here is $29.96. And I think their DVD here might have a different cover than the um, one that I saw on Target. I'm not certain. Yeah, but uh, Stronger definitely, that one definitely did release today. And they have this only at Walmart edition here of the Lego Ninjago movie. I, hopefully I'm saying this right. This has in here this uh, bonus six keychains in here. And that one's $29.96 for that one. There, so, it's, so it's quite a bit more though for these keychains, but if you guys are interested in these ones, that's their edition. Because their standard Blu-ray is $22.96 and then their 4K is $29.96. But other than that over here, this is the other one that released today. This one, um, 
this John Cusack film. This is from the director who did May, and this is a movie called Blood Money. And honestly, this was kind of fun. It was just like a crazy movie about these kids out in the woods going camping, and uh, John, I mean John Cusack's character drops his bag of money that he stole, and he's trying to find it, and like one of the kids finds it, like, and then it's like him kind of going after them. It just takes like a real crazy turn. But that one's um 1496 for that one, and then Leatherface here is not uh, 1496 as well, and then they have Mother here. Like I I said I'm gonna be talking about that one though at the end of this video and this past weekend when I was in Vegas I did get to see two different films both of them were actually in casino hotels that's what's cool about Vegas is a lot of the movie theaters the majority of them are in casinos and the one the prices were amazing like during the day the tickets were like six dollars I think at night they were nine dollars like here movies in the day I think at the lowest are like ten and at night are like usually fifteen and up and it's just amazing because even the theater that was six dollars had you know select your own seats and all that kind of stuff so it was amazing that it was so cheap there uh, but the first one that I saw was uh, the Woody Allen film Wonder Wheel and I know that movie's gotten some sort of mixed reviews but you know it stars you know Jim Belushi uh, Kate Winslet and Juno Temple and Justin Timberlake I honestly, for the first like 15 minutes, I like wasn't sure if I was going to like it because it was kind of starting out a little weird and uh, it was different because like Woody Allen was using like some digital effects because it was set in Coney Island in the 50s. So he was kind of like adding in some stuff digitally. So it was kind of a weird thing. But and he kind of gave a movie a really bright kind of color scheme and like a real different kind of look than I've ever seen him do in a film. But after the movie started, I really got into it and I really liked uh, Jim Belushi in it. Like I've really liked uh, Jim Belushi's stuff lately, and because um, he, he was amazing in the you know the last season of Twin Peaks. And then I've always loved him, you know, in like um, the movie that he did with Tupac and stuff. So I don't know. He just did a really good job in this. And, you know, it's basically his daughter, Juno Temple, comes back after being away for, you know, years. She got married to this kind of mobster guy. But now she's on the run hiding out, you know, in his house above Coney Island, you know, on the, by like the where they have like the games and stuff. So he, she's hiding out there with him and they're trying to like, you know, keep her safe there and stuff. And I don't know. I kind of got into that movie. Uh, the other one that I saw, you know, was Star Wars. The Last Jedi. Now, I know people don't really want to hear much about the plot because I know a lot of people may have not have seen it yet, so I'm not going to spoil anything with it. I will say, though, it's interesting, though, with that movie, the critics seem to like it, but on Rotten Tomatoes, it's got like a 50-something percent audience score, so it's like the audience doesn't seem to be liking it as much. But honestly, though... I thought it was actually pretty cool. Like I, I love the last, you know, the last film, The Force Awakens. I thought that one was really good. Rogue One. I feel like Rogue One, though, you know, which was the prequel. I feel like that movie. I, I thought it was good, but you, it was a slightly forgettable a little bit. Like I kind of forgot some of it, and it didn't wasn't as memorable as like The Force Awakens. You know, when it comes to the newer films. But I did like The Last Jedi a lot. I thought it was actually. I liked that they added in some kind of humor and stuff in it that you know I was not expecting you know like some some really weird stuff um, but I'm not gonna say with who or anything because like I said I don't want to ruin anything it's better going into those movies really not knowing too much about it and then getting like surprised by it but if you guys saw either of those movies though let me know you know what you thought of those ones below into Best Buy we go and in here though for Dunkirk though they have in here this uh, steelbook here the only Best Buy steelbook that one's $29.99 for that it seems like the steelbook is only for the blu-ray copy doesn't look like there is a 4k uh, steelbook as well but their 4k copy of that one is $29.99 and then the Lego Najargo movie like I said I may be saying this totally wrong they have an exclusive steelbook one of that as well and that one's $29.99 for that one and other than that though uh, their copy of leather face is uh, 1696 they have Victoria and Abdul this is the only place that I've seen carry the 4k of mother like I said I'll be talking about this one at the end of this video and that one is 24.99 other than that though in this area this seems to be all the major new things I see and over here though it looks like they have a majority of the Christopher Nolan uh, 4k's I know there's like a set that has all of them together they do have this set here that has all of the you know the Dark Knight uh, trilogies together on 4k and that one 89.99 for that one and I like though the separate ones of them better though because it, I like these covers on there especially the one of you know the Joker that one's really cool but the the separate releases are all 24.99 each for those but I think there might be like one of them the Nolan films missing I don't know though I, this might be all of them I know the prestige that one you know released today um, but all these ones as well as an except inception 
which is actually the one Nolan one that I've never actually seen before. I don't know how. I've totally never watched this one. The, that one is $27.99, and the Prestige, though, that one's $29.99. So that's the most expensive of the 4K, you know, standalone ones. So anyway, though, guys, that's all for this DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Like I always say, guys, enjoy these shopping videos. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Also, though, be on the lookout, too, for my Vegas video going up soon of me, you know, movie hunting out in Vegas. And also, now, stay tuned for some new DVD and Blu-ray reviews. And before I get on to the reviews, I got sent some really cool stuff to show you guys. This one comes from Full Moon. This is the brand new uh, Puppet Master collection here. It has all the Puppet Master movies in this really cool trunk. You know, the character from the films, you know, created the puppets, and he carries them around in this trunk. And this, you know, has amazing detail on this. It's even signed in the back by Charles Band. There's little, like, postcards on here, like, for all the places that the character had been. On the top of it, they have some of them, as well as on the front. When you guys open this up in here, it has inside, though, all the Puppet Master films together in this set. There's even room left, you know, here for any future ones. I think you could probably fit, like, two more movies in this one. Even has a spot in here to put these little figures. They even sent one with this, and you guys order that it comes with this uh little mini blade figure and i believe it's going to be uh the one of torch coming soon i'm not sure when that one releases but in here though it has a booklet with some information you know about like a little description about each of the films in the series and then inside i believe these are like new covers on these ones i believe and it has poet master poet master 2 poet master 3 Puppet Master 4. I really like 4 and 5. They're kind of like, of course, like the like the first film is like the best of all the films. But 4 and 5, I thought they were kind of fun movies because they kind of connected together. They had the same cast for the most part. Uh, Curse of the Puppet Master. This is another one of my favorite ones because like they um, made this kind of like doll kind of character. I don't know. It was, it was I thought this one was really cool. Uh, Retro Puppet Masters. Uh, uh, Puppet Master The Legacy. This is the one that was kind of like a clip film and they had like some new like wraparound footage. And these are the newest films on uh, the most recent series. Puppet Master Access of Evil. Puppet Master Access Termination. And Puppet Master Access Rising which is like I believe this is one is the absolute newest film. There's even a bonus disc in here uh, that has like some new stuff that had never been released before like uh, over an hour and a half of behind the scenes from part two uh this is some behind the scenes for part five, behind the scenes of part two, which is like over three hours, behind the scenes of part three, another behind the scenes thing, which is like three hours of footage as well. So tons of extra features, you know, on this bonus disc here. But like I said, though, really great set here. If you guys are fans of the Part Master films, super limited set as well. And I'll put a link below for if, where you guys can order this one. I also want to show you guys MVD sent over this really cool mini bust here of Vincent Price. This is available on their website. I have a link below if you guys are interested in buying this uh, bust here. It's a mini bust of uh, Vincent Price presented by Rue Morgue. And here's a look at the bust itself. It's a really good likeness here of Vincent Price. Really love the expression on his face, like with the eyes kind of to the side. But you've always been a huge fan of Vincent Price. I think my favorite film of his is probably The House of Wax. And then my favorite movie that he, you know, he appears in is probably Edward Scissorhands. That's one of those movies I've watched so many times. Just an amazing film. It also has a thing on here in the back so you guys can hang this up on the wall or set this on a shelf. But a really cool bust here if you guys are fans of Vincent and price like i said i have a link below where you guys can order that one and Comet TV, and I've talked about them in the past, they're a cable network that is available on some cable networks, and um, they're also on, you know, CometTV.com is the main way people can watch it, and you can stream what they're, you know, playing on the website itself. They play, like, horror movies, science fiction movies, uh, some TV shows, all that kind of stuff, but they sent over this cool beaker here with these green um, gumballs inside of here. I love this beaker thing, but you got to be very, very careful with this, because if this drops, this is going to break everywhere, and these gumballs are going to be rolling everywhere it's going to be like a real like home alone kind of moment with this but uh, you know like i said if you guys are interested in, in finding out about comet tv just go to CometTV.com. but now we're going to get on to the review portion of this video I have a bunch of really cool stuff to show you guys uh the first one i got here from arrow video and this is the film that michael kane st stars in called pulp and this is um the director of this also directed get carter which i believe they remade as well i think they remade it in like 2000 something like that and it's about michael kane is this um writer 
and writes these pulp stories and he ends up getting hired by the agent of Mickey Rooney's character to um, you know write the life story of Mickey Rooney who's like Mickey Rooney's character in this is kind of like reclusive he's living in this you know he's kind of like kind of hidden away and he ends up getting hired to write his life story but you come to find out though that Mickey Rooney like he's like you find out like throughout the movie why he's hiding away and why he's become so reclusive and kind of quit acting and everything and it's actually a pretty cool movie here this has on here a brand new uh, 2k uh, restoration of the film really great transfer on this and it has on here some brand new features it has uh, a bunch of new interviews it has a new interview with the director uh, interview here with the director of photography interview with the assistant director interview with uh, Tony uh, Klinger who's the son of the producer of this film and inside though there's a booklet with you know with some pictures and facts about the film and all that kind of stuff always love that arrow video includes these in their releases but just a really cool one here just want to let you guys know this one is available now from arrow video the next one here from sony and this is the 4k edition of jumanji and this is one of those movies i have watched this film so many times as a kid always been a huge fan of this film always a huge fan of robin williams and i i don't know it's a really great movie i can't i kind of actually am to be honest excited to see the new remake which is coming out soon you know it's not actually it's not a remake it's kind of like a whole new story but like a similar kind of vibe but i am interested in seeing that but um this one is basically though about these two kids who end up discovering this board game and they start playing it in the beginning though you see um these kids who play this board game and they kind of get sucked into the game and something happens to them and one of those characters is robin williams who gets sucked into the game and uh it's you know kirsten dunce's character with her brother start playing the game and they end up unleashing and bringing Ron Williams back, you know, who was stuck in the gate land of the game. And it's kind of like um, once they start playing this Jumanji game, uh, you know, as it, the game begins, it starts off kind of like it's going to be a normal game. But there's something weird about the pieces are moving and stuff. But then, like, things start to come out of the game, like animals and all these weird kind of creatures and stuff. It's a really fun movie. The 4K, though, looks amazing on 4K. It's just a really, definitely, to see this movie again in 4K was so cool. Like I said, I've never seen this movie in theaters. This has always been a favorite of mine but has on here though a sneak peek of the new Jumanji film it has on here brand new uh, never before seen deleted scenes and a gag reel with Ron Williams and it has all the past features from the past releases but it's cool that they have on here these brand new deleted scenes and gag reel but I just want you guys to know this one is available but you know really fun movie looks absolutely amazing like I said on 4k it's another 4k one here this is the brand new 4K release of Terminator 2 Judgment Day. This is one that I was so excited to see in 4K. And it's also like the newest edition of the film because, um, you know, the director, James Karen went in and kind of uh, fixed and tweaked a few little things in here, like some of the stuff where you saw like the stuntman, um, you know, that it was a stuntman instead of Arnold Schwarzenegger going over the bike and some of that kind of stuff. And like a few little things that he wanted to fix have been corrected and stuff on this one. But it includes the 4K, on, on the 4K disc, it has the movie and it only includes includes the newest edition of the film but on the blu-ray it has um all three cuts of the film it has like the extended cut and then the extended extended cut because i remember years ago when they released that one that kind of tin i remember you had to like um I think to see the extended, extended cut, you had to like put a code in, I remember, on that really old DVD release. I remember you had to kind of put a code in, but also has on here uh, a 55 minute documentary with has interviews. So like the archival interview, I think it was like from 1999 was that interview was from, uh, has the making of, a whole bunch of different stuff on here. So, uh, you know, a really cool release. If you guys don't know the Terminator film though, um, it's basically though about um, this kid, you know, played by Eddie Furlong, who ends up, you know, you know, he, you come to find out throughout the movie. I don't want to say too much about it if you've never seen these films, but Arnold Schwarzenegger comes there to s s basically protect Eddie Furlong's character from the, the I, think, I believe it's the T-1000 is the, the name of the villain, I, unless I'm mixing it all up, but it's like the liquid metal character. I think I think I mixed it up. It's a liquid metal character played by Robert Patrick who comes to kind of to kill Eddie Furlong's character, and you know Arnold Schwarzenegger has to kind of try and save him and protect him. It's kind of them on the run and stuff. It's just an amazing movie. And the thing about this movie too is, it's one of those films that I feel like really holds up so well. It's like from 1991, but just really holds up to this day, and it's still just as cool as it was. And this is one of the, I think I saw this one probably when I was like 94, 95, something like that, because I've always been a huge fan of Eddie Furlong, too. But, for um, you know, as it comes to 4K, though, this looks amazing. This is probably one of the best 4Ks I've seen for an older film. They just did a, such a great job cleaning this one up. The details in this, and the big thing, too, is the HDR, so it has great contrast levels and everything. But if you guys are a fan of this one, this is definitely a must-pick-up if you guys, you know, have 4K. And it all, like I said, it also has the, the Blu-ray that has all the cuts of the film as well. 
These ones here, I want to show you guys, are from ViaVision, and these are um, both region-free releases, so you guys can watch these ones on any region. There's no, like, region locking or anything on these. And this is the complete uh, collection of Weird Science, you know, the TV series, and it's seasons one through five. I didn't even remember that it's, the show went on that long. I, and this was released in the U.S., but I think it was only seasons one and two that were released, you know, the uh, old release years back that came out. But this is the new one here that has, like I said, all five seasons and this is actually to be honest a really fun show they did a lot of shows like this in the 80s the late 80s and early 90s they did like um you know pop movies that were very popular and then did like tv series of them they did like uncle buck they don't i think that only lasted them maybe a season they had harry and the hendersons the tv series that might have been two seasons i remember that one pretty well as a kid the uncle buck one i hardly remember and they had like um a Bill and Ted one that people really forgot about that. That only, that only aired for like three episodes. But Weird Science, though, actually, I feel like when it came to being a series, worked the best. I think like they really had a lot of um, fun kind of things to do with them. And it's basically, though, you know, the similar concept to the original film about the two characters who end up, you know, with their computer creating the uh, girl in the computer who's like the girl of their dreams. And in this one, she grants them wishes and she's able to like give them kind of things that they want and like, uh, like basically they like stop time uh anything that they kind of wish for but there's always kind of consequences with it and things don't always go as their plan so there's always some kind of a problem with it or the wishes don't last long or like they get stuck in the wish and they have to figure out how they're going to get their way out of it so they're kind of always into issues even though they're able to kind of do certain things that they want and think that they're kind of going to work out there's always some kind of consequences to it but like i said for this to have lasted as long as it did you know, I, I did not know it went on that many years. And it went on for five full seasons. But to be, like I said, to be honest, though, it's a very fun show. I was watching through this and kept on watching through these episodes. And if you guys like, like, Bill and Ted and stuff, too, this has that kind of Bill and Ted vibe to this. And a very, like, early 90s feel as well. And it's all, it's not like a sitcom film where it's like a laugh track and stuff. It's all, like, you know, filmed with, like, you know, single camera and stuff. But it has on here some commentary tracks on select episodes. And, um... I don't know though, I really would recommend this one if you guys have never seen it. And also uh, from ViaVision as well. And this is The Expanse Season 1. This, this show kind of is a show that aired on sci fi. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like. Um, kind of like Total Recall kind of vibe to this one because it's got like like mixed with Blade Runner because it's got really, really high production values to this one. Probably one of the highest production value shows that I've seen on sci-fi because they have really great sets and stuff on this. And it's kind of a science fiction, like it's a science fiction show. Um, it's kind of like, um, it's all set on this planet on, um, where was this? Was it set on like Mars? I think it was, I think, I think, I can't remember exactly where it was set, but there's, there, it's basically dealing with this detective is looking for this missing woman, but it deals with like kind of cover, finding out these students, finding out about this like uh, cover up that's going on uh, with the solar system and that there's like maybe something bad coming their way and stuff. It's extremely hard to explain what's going on, but it was, like I said, it was a really interesting, well-made, well-produced show with really great production values, but it has on here deleted scenes in this one. And like I said, this is the complete first season of the show here. And next one I got here from Paramount, and this is the Darren Aronofsky film um, Mother, which stars Jennifer Lawrence. And I know this movie has kind of had some like really mixed opinions, you know, review-wise and stuff. And some people really love it, some people don't really like it. But to me, honestly, I saw this one in theaters as well. I really got into this movie. I And the more and more I thought about this movie, the more and more I like this film. I love, too, the cover on this. I love the painted type look to this. I love that they went with that, with this release. And the movie, though, it's one of those films I can't say too much about this movie because it's a movie you really have to interpret it in your own way. But essentially, though, it's about Jennifer Lawrence's character in this house with her husband, you know, played by Harvey R. Bardeen. And it's like they have a very weird relationship. He's way, way older than her. And the way he's acting towards her is very strange. And it's like um, Ed Harris's character shows up at the door one day out of the blue. And her husband is like, uh, Jennifer Lawrence's husband is like, well, let's a man. Let's let a man. We should just, you know, because he's like, oh, I thought this was this house and I got confused but they're like he's like well you might as well let him stay and she's like what well, what we don't know this guy why is he gonna stay here and then all of a sudden his wife shows up and it's like it's kind of like one of these movies 
it has this feeling of like turmoil and like stress. Like the movie is like total the feeling of almost like a stress attack because like throughout the movie it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse and more it's more and more stress for what's going on for Jennifer Lawrence's character. And it's kind of like, you know, why is, you know, her husband's, you know, letting this happen to her and why is like he like letting these people act the way they are and like this crazy nonsense that's going on. It's like it just like keeps on building up to this this total insanity in this film. But I love this. I just love the feel of this movie. I love that it makes you really feel stressed and it really is successful with giving you that kind of like panicky feeling. I, I thought that, you know, everyone did a great job in this one. 4K wise though, it looks great. It's a very like gloomy, dark, high contrast film. It has on here though a making of Mother and the uh, makeup effects of Mother. But you know, definitely like if you guys have seen this one though, let me know what you thought. But like I said, I really got into the film. The next one here is the Christopher Nolan film. Uh, this is the 4K release of Interstellar. This one stars, you know, Matthew McConaughey, Anne Hathaway, uh, Jessica Chastain, and Michael Caine. And this movie, I remember seeing this one in theaters as well and really got into this movie. It's like a really super into intellectual thinking um very intricate science fiction film about matthew mcconaughey's character going into space and he's going on this mission that's going to go for all these years and it's like um and try and see if they can kind of save humanity because they kind of like he's going up there knowing that it doesn't look too good for earth so he's going up there to try and see if he can figure out how to save earth and it's this long mission he has to leave his family it's like a real sad movie as well but like some of the stuff that goes on in this stuff and like it's just like, totally like it's like i don't know it was a very different science fiction movie too because it went and did some really different stuff and christopher nolan too he's always so inventive with his films and he like this I feel like this is one of my his most inventive films and he just did an amazing take on a science fiction movie but when it comes to 4k though looks amazing it's a really really colorful movie and all the space stuff and everything is like so in space is a lot of contrast levels because the big thing with you know with 4k is the HDR like I always say and that's you know the contrast levels and the brightness levels but definitely if you guys are a fan of this movie and you guys have 4k capacity definitely would recommend this one it has all the features too from the past release here and the next one here from RLJ uh, films um, and this is one that I was really interested in seeing this is the first release that um, the company has released released on 4K. I believe this is their first 4K. I'm um, reviewing Mayhem as well, which is their second 4K. I think they might might have come out after, because I'm not sure of the exact release date of that one, but I'm going to review in that one next week. But this is um, Brawl and Cell, Bro Cell Block 99. This stars um, um, Vince Vaughn. This is from the director of Bone Tomahawk, and I really love Bone, Bone Tomahawk as well, but this movie, I kind of like this a little more. This movie was amazing. This was such a cool, brutal, crazy film. Called, like I said, it's called Brawl and Cell Block 99. And Vince Vaughn, I, I, I hope Vince Vaughn does more stuff like this because it's a real serious role. He plays like a crazy guy in this, like the way he gets. But it's about Vince Vaughn's character who ends up getting arrested for... Um, selling these drugs and he gets he, he basically is um ends up getting like the couple years in jail because of it but it, it's because it's sort of what happens though is you know um he made all this money selling these drugs and his wife is going to be there and she's pregnant and he ends up you know going to jail and something ends up happening he ends up finding out something and he you know plans to just go to jail be like as good as he can so he gets out when he's supposed to but something ends up happening you know, here here's something from Udo Kier's character, and then that makes everything change. And Vince Vaughn's character goes totally nuts in jail, and what he ends up doing and what ends up happening becomes this insane, brutal film. And like I said, there's a scene in this in the very beginning when Vince Vaughn like tears up a car with his bare hands and he's like ripping it apart and like totally smashing it. And I was like looking into it too, and like a lot of that was like really done. Like they made the car so he could kind of rip it and like do it like and make it look really convincing. But a lot of he really had to do but like I said he was so good in this movie and it's like it go it has the feel of those um sort of like 70s prison films and like the gore and stuff is like real like over the top and throwback style but like I said I don't want to say what he does in jail I don't want to say what happens I don't I don't want to say too much about this one because I didn't know much going into this one and I had such a fun time just experiencing this movie as it went along but for the first 4k release 
they did such a great job cleaning up this movie. To be honest, too, this movie, to me, I noticed 4K more than I ever had with this movie. I, I don't know. I don't know why, but for some reason, this just looks so 4K, and, like, the details and everything were great in this, and I love, too, like, the look of this movie, because it had, like, um, sort of like a, kind of like the look of Saul a little bit in the prison scenes and stuff. Uh, this one here is from RLJ Entertainment Films as well, and this is and I really love the first film. This is the follow up to House uh, the House is October Built. This is House is October Built Two, and this is um. You know, if you guys didn't see the first one, it was about these guys that go around exploring haunted houses and like, like, like they're kind of just doing like a documentary kind of series for YouTube and put up online and stuff, showing haunted houses and touring around and stuff. And like something happened to them in the first film that really scared them terribly. And this is like, you know, the follow up of the characters now. Um, and the one girl like doesn't really want to have to go back and do this again, but they kind of try their best to convince her because because of the videos that they did in the past and these characters that kind of kidnapped them and what happened to them um they end up now going and like becoming kind of viral sensations and they get like hired to go to events and paid to go to haunted houses and make appearances and stuff but along their way they're filming more haunted houses to put up online and stuff and see if they can find even creepier haunted houses and this is basically though when they go there they start kind of seeing um, you see like somebody filming them from an angle far away kind of spying on them You see like some of the characters from the first film like peeking around the corner Like and you see them like quickly and like a flash in the haunted houses and stuff It's essentially though building up to something that's going to happen and the movie though It's, it's sort of more like a, almost like a travel log kind of film showing the haunted houses they go to But it's really well filmed of the haunted houses and like actually they kind of they put music and stuff to it as well To give it like a creepy vibe. I honestly like these movies. I like haunted houses i like things about haunted houses i like that they were able to kind of use these real haunted houses and kind of form a horror story around them like i said i love the first movie as well i thought this honestly was a cool follow-up to the to the films this has on here deleted scenes an uncut projection scene here uh, music video on this one the next one here is from Wellgo USA, and this is a um, film that called The Adventurers, and um, Gene, you know, uh, Gene Reno, you know, from uh, Leon the Professional, appears in this movie, and um, this is a movie. It's basically though, kind of like a heist type film, sort of like an Ocean's Eleven kind of vibe film, and it's about this guy who ends up getting, you know, just released from prison, and he's and when he as soon as he gets out, he's trying to plan like his new biggest heist, but Gene Reno's character is the one who had r arrested him in the past, and he's like going, I'm gonna watch you, I'm gonna find you and like you know you're not better not pull anything and if you mess up again i'm gonna put you away for a really long time and i'm bring down your whole crew and your whole group and get everybody and it's kind of them trying to plan out this big robbery and then along the way you know you see gene reno's character kind of spying on them and trying to catch them and it's kind of them trying to put together their, their team and put, you know playing this huge big heist if you guys like like i said Ocean's Eleven kind of style films like that. I would definitely recommend you guys check this one out here. And the movie is in like um, Mandarin, but there's a lot of it that's in English as well. You know, because Gene Reno is speaking English in the film. There's some of it's in French. But I, I thought it was like pretty, actually pretty well done kind of like heist adventure kind of film. And next one I got here from CBS, and I kind of mixed up some of the plots of The Expanse with this one a little bit. But this is a show called Salvation. And I'm not sure if there's going to be a second season of this one or, or not. This has a bunch of features on here as well, like the uh, comic. Uh, you know, panel at Comic Con, deleted scenes, extended scenes. But this is a series that's about, um, basically about this professor who's like talks about like uh, scientific like stuff with like asteroids and you know uh, about the planets and all that kind of stuff. And one of his students like kind of discovers that he believes that there's this um, giant asteroid that's going to come and ba pretty much destroy Earth. And he kind of has to go and like persuade with the help of his teacher, like the government, and everybody, that this is going to happen. And he's kind of trying to work with them and trying to figure out exactly how they're going to stop this from happening. You know, have to have you know how how they're going to stop the destruction of Earth, and that's essentially what it is. But a pretty fun you know science fiction series here, and it has you know uh, it's a how many disc set is this one here? It's a one, two, three. Four disc set here of the you know the first season. Like I said, I'm not certain if there's going to be a second season of this one or not. The next one here from. Um, uh, from Monarch Home Entertainment. This is a movie here called One of Us. This is one of those like um, kind of crazy cult films because this one girl ends up finding out that her friend has gone missing and she was last seen at this cult. So she ends up going there to try and um, track her down and she's also a writer so she's like, oh I can write this, you know, an article about this and figure out exactly what happened to my friend and like f also find out about this cult because they've heard kind of weird rumors about this cult and things that they're up to and things that have happened out in the woods. So she ends up kind of tracking down 
down this cult and she's planning to go there and kind of become undercover and kind of join the cult and like infiltrate the whole thing and act like she's really into everything that's going on. And it's essentially though about her, you know, finding her way into this cult and then kind of finding out more and more about what's going on here and all the kind of weird stuff that's going on. Like I said, it's a pretty interesting, you know, film, like I said, all about you know, a weird cult that she goes and try and infiltrate. Uh, the next ones here are all from um, Cinedime. This one here is a movie called Anna. And I believe this one, you guys can rent this one as well in Redbox. And this is one of those, uh, you know, uh, killer doll films. And it's about these guys who end up finding out about this paranormal doll that was in this kind of, um, kind of haunted paranormal museum. And they go there and they're doing like a series about like haunted things and paranormal type stuff. And they're like, they're like, well, we're going to see if we can try and convince the guy who owns this doll at the this paranormal museum to kind of take it and like go and see if they can like see what can happen with it if they take it out of there and if anything like haunted or weird happens in their house and stuff if they take it. And the guy's like, oh no, no, you can, you can, you can see it here, you can film it here and look at it here, but you can't leave with it. But of course, they end up, you know, deciding to steal the thing, and they take it out. And of course, by doing that, they unleash all this terrible stuff that starts to happen to them. And it's kind of them trying to figure out exactly what's the meaning of this doll because they've heard like rumors about it and things that they people have said in the past and stuff. So it's them trying to figure out exactly what is with this doll and what have they like unleashed. I always like like these kind of killer killer doll type things. These are always to me kind of fun films. Uh, the next one here, like I said, from Cinedime as well, is one here called Death Island. And this is a kind of a Blair Witch style found footage film that is, uh, they're doing about a like a, it's a sort of a um, part an area in the woods where like people had kind of gone missing and like they like families had gone missing or and weird things that happened to some of the kids some of the kids had got really sick the kids had gone missing it's all these kind of missing like uh, persons and stuff in this area and they go out there to do this documentary on it they're kind of talking to the people around people who live there like what they've heard what they think about this and what they think had actually happened in the past and it's kind of talking to some of the people that had connections to the people who had gone missing and the kids that had gone missing so it's kind of them going out there to try and figure out what's happening of course though you know something bad's going to happen to them by going out there and messing around with this and filming this and talking to these people you know that something's going to happen to them when they're out there and it all deals with like Native American legends and stuff like that it was actually kind of cool I always like these kind of like found footage kind of films like this you know going out into the woods and stuff and the last one here from Cinedime as well it's a movie called Alien Dom Dom Domicile. And I like this one. This was like about a group of these people. In the beginning, you see these people like get, like fighting off some kind of a creature. And then it like cuts to these people waking up. A group of the, another group of people waking up inside of this room. It kind of like has a feeling of Cube. Like when it's like, or a Saul. Kind of Cube mixed with Saul. They're all in this room waking up. They don't know what happened to them. They kind of like, they're all work for this government kind of agency. But they like don't really know how they got where they are. They don't really, they can't really remember or anything from the day or so before so it's kind of them in there trying to figure out what had happened to them why they're inside of there and then like all of a sudden like other kind of people start to show up in there and they're kind of trying to figure out what's happening and like what's the reason for them in this room and sort of seeing if they can find a way to get out of here and of course you know that it's going to have something to do with some sort of an alien because you saw that in the very beginning of the film and it's got, it's got some interesting kind of twists and stuff going on in this one as well like you know you don't really expect exactly what's going to happen in this like i said this one is called alien domicile I believe I'm saying that one right. But anyway, though, guys, that's all for the review portion of this video. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. I'll see you guys later.